wonder, I wonder if after this, if Kevin went and celebrated, you know, this title shot and this match and this angle, you think he hooked up with a lady in the woods? I don't. When was the last time you fornicated in the woods, Tony? Uh, probably 1979. 79. Oh my God. Yeah. Take a look at this. What do you think? Michael uh, Hayes yeah. is talking about right here. Look at him. Uh, yeah. Michael PSA's member of the Freebirds. Uh, Michael, tell us about your career and how it's gone. I, uh, well, hey, let me, let me say this. All right. Uh, I may look cool and I may look like a Southerner right now, but I've looked into the future and I know that in my later years, I'm going to become an office stooge and I'm going to look like a fucking idiot walking through an airport. That's right. I'm going to wear a goddamn light blue hat. I'm going to wear a thing that looks like a tux. And I'm going to walk around, uh, stand in the corner, and just writing down shit and stooging off people. Because that's all, hey, that's all I do. Because people that really know me behind the scenes right now know that I'm a goddamn stooge. And that's right. Shivani, I want to say this to you. I appreciate you giving me that ball, that John Smoltz sign just for me. But unfortunately, my dog ate it. So fuck you. Don't come back in the woods and see me again because you just called me a stooge. And you know what? Let me tell you something, Mark Lawrence. You're a stooge too. You look like a stooge. Hell, why ain't Bruce Pritchard hold the microphone? Oh, that's another promotion. That's right. Fuck you. Mark. Fuck you. And everybody looks like you. Let me say this one more time. I also have a peach colored suit. That's right. A peach colored <laughs> suit and a hat. You talking about it. all the colors that you think a man should not wear. I got them. All right. I got it. I may be cool here. Take a look at that belt. I may have been able to work, but in my senior citizen years, I'm going to look like a fucking goof. That's right. A fucking goof. <laughs> Problem with me looking like a goof. Hey, I don't think so. You look like a fucking goof. Lawrence. I got to go. It may have been something like that. I'm not sure. Bravo. Concert. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. I haven't talked to him in a long, long, long time. You should hit him up. He'd love to hear. I to hit him up. See how he's doing. Yeah. Look at the star power in this one. Okay. Hey, I just did a promo with Mark Lawrence saying I'm a goof. Don't anybody call me a goof. That's going to come up in 2024. I'll be a goof then. Hey, but not now. Right now, I'm a member of the Freebirds, and I'm tough. Hey, is this uh, is this after this is after the angle, isn't it? Or is it? Uh, no, I think you're thinking of, uh, the oh, wait, yeah, 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 it is. You're right. Yeah. Slammed, uh, got his head slammed in the cage door, which is one of the more famous angles ever in world. Maybe the most famous angle in, in world champion, world-class championship wrestling. It was, uh, 82. Mm -hmm. So yeah. There's... Yeah. Christmas day of 82. Wait, so wait a minute. Yeah. Christmas day of 82. So right now they are still All right. hot fucking heels. Yeah. And look who they're standing across from. I mean, you got the free birds, Gordy and Hayes mm -hmm. taking on Kerry Von Eric, who looks like a Greek God and Bruiser yeah. Brody. What a big show this is, man. And you are right, brother. So we got the ring announcer. We got the referee Bronco. We got a cameraman in the ring. And who's the other fellow in the ring in the white shirt there? Yeah. I don't know. Is that like. A second referee? He doesn't have stripes on. I, I right. mean, they would have. I love Michael Hayes. How do you not love Michael yeah, Hayes? I know. What a character, huh? I would. Can you imagine how much fun it would have been being his friend in 1983? Yeah. He wouldn't have wanted to hang out with me at the time. I was two. But, uh, yeah. Well, somebody get this goddamn baby away from me. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody ring the goddamn bell. I got to go have a he beer. He keeps talking stupid to me. He's asking me how many stars my match got. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> and to be honest with you, I'm shitting my pants right now. I know that Bruiser Brody's across from me. I'm just going to tag out. <laughs> let Terry, let Bam Bam do all Terry, the work. 
I think I can take the the fella that got but one leg, but I'm gonna leave Bruiser to you. <laughs> I, I know they're in fucks with me too much. I'll just get to pulling and say, "Tiger got your tail." Uh, Names. So, I'm gonna send him a text right now. Just let everybody know what I'm sending him. I'll, I'll read it to you as I'm typing. Conrad and I, because I can, I can, I can text from my, from my computer because I got a Mac. Oh, you're like, fancy. Okay. Like most people with a brain hat. Oh. Uh, Conrad and I are watching your match versus Brody. And, uh, Gary from, 83 right now. Now, made me think of you. Go fuck yourself. See if he answers. Oh, wait a minute. It's 10 08. He's not up yet. Looks to say. Yeah. And. Oh, and he's coming back from Raw too. Oh, he's, yeah, he was he's home then. He was up early and home. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm the same way. Actually, I I've tried to take um in in uh, the month of April, I'm taking later flights home because just tired. Tired and bugs not here. Yeah. So I'm just I'm just taking later flights. Um uh, you know, uh we give him shit deservedly, right? Michael Hayes, because we consider him a friend of ours. But I mean, for longevity and, and a great star, he's he was really great. No doubt. He really was. What a fun time this was in wrestling, too. You know, 1983 is when Vince is making his moves. To get uh, Hulk Hogan on board, it's going to yeah. happen towards the end of the year, and Hulkamania will be born in January, and we're less than two years away from the first WrestleMania. We're four months away from the first Starcade. Jim Crockett Promotions is about to get super hot. It's just interesting to think how much is going to change and how quickly, and to think that Bruiser Brody's got like just five years left on this planet, right. and then he's going it's just wild right well, another thing too and you were very very young back then you mentioned you were two years old when this happened uh for those of us who were old enough to uh realize what we were living through um the 80s to me was the greatest decade ever yeah i just i just for movies for wrestling for music just uh and Go to Lois and you say, weren't the 80s great? She'll go, hell no. So, yeah, they were. She said, hell no. I was pregnant all the time in the 80s. And she was. She had a baby in 82, in 84, in 85, and two in 87. So, but to me, uh, I just love the 80s. Absolutely loved it. And I think anybody who was an adult back then, who lived through it, uh, was just... Tremendous. Would agree with me. 